Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on uh, housing and living in Eindhoven. So I have already made a video about cost of living, but this is specifically focused on Satyaki's experience of living around TU Eindhoven and in the city of Eindhoven. Uh, hello everyone. In this video, we'll go, we are going to discuss in details, uh, like I give an overview of the cost of living in Delft, uh, Netherlands. Uh, from the perspective of a student, so we have with me a data science student from TU Delft, Netherlands, Leonid Datta. Recently, he finished his master's on the living and housing and it will be very short. So let's start. We can He can give a general idea about what are the options and how much it costs you as a rent. And also maybe giving an estimate of other monthly expenses, the rough range according to what he spent. So yeah, off to you. Uh, so uh, there are basically you can say uh, two types of housing basically and the one I stay in even the one which you see behind it's a studio so these are like self-sufficient housing so you get a single room with a kitchen and your own bathroom your own bed uh, your own study space living space everything is your own here and uh, they start from anywhere between 19 meters square floor area to 20 meters square in floor area and they can extend so for this like a room like this 20 meters square cost 750 euros like without any allowance that's the main rent amount uh, uh, so 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 it's very rare that you find any studio which is cheaper than 750 or 740 it's impossible to get one so if you are getting a housing from university which says 750 don't think it's expensive that's the base price here it's like it's best to just book it at right away because housing is a very difficult thing in netherlands especially in eindhoven i think i'm not sure other, about other cities yeah yeah i think in every city like housing uh, students it's, are it's huge huge pain i mean and finding a house is also very difficult in Delft. Like I used to use uh, live in Den Haag and I had to travel two hours a day to come to the university and go back. Uh, I was thinking that I will be homeless from first August, means from today, because my previous um, contract ended on 31st uh, July. And I go in detail in my Medium post with uh, some link uh, in my story. You can read. What yeah, I can put like it is. on the screen. Yeah, it's a, it's a very detailed one and you can like actually feel my trauma at that stage. It was very serious. But now things are much better. I got a house. I'm happy. Uh, and so rent is very high compared to other countries, I would say. In Netherlands, rent is high. In Eindhoven, it's high. Amsterdam, even higher. Uh, so if you're getting for 750, you're pretty good for a studio. Now, uh, as uh, a sharing housing, so in that, you will have your own bedroom and maybe a study space, but you will be sharing your washroom and kitchen. Uh, those costs around, like it range, it varies a lot. They, they cost from 250 to 500, 600 even uh, per head. Um, uh, so like you can get for 300 and Facebook is the best place to find those uh, houses, Facebook groups, just search kind of housing on these kind of places. But it's really difficult because housing is so, so hard to get here. And for one house, there are like people get 30, 40, 50 comments and just one, one, one room. And chances are very low that you'll get selected. First of all, I don't know, maybe it's a preference here international. If it's not, if, if it's full of white people, they would prefer white people. If it's everybody is Dutch there, then they will like someone who can, with whom they can speak Dutch. It's not about being racist or something, but it's just easier to communicate in a regular day to day life. So it's very hard to get a sharing housing. The housing rent is uh, actually the major part of your expenditure as a student, and it extremely varies. So my house rent is uh, 400 euros, including everything. And I know people uh, who are uh, who are living in shared houses, uh, which is around 500 euros to 550 euros. But I also know people uh, who are living in 370 or 380 euros. Uh, but I think uh, the, uh, the 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 living expenses, I think especially the the housing price is increasing a lot uh, in Delft, and it's it's a complete from the normal 
city dwellers as well that uh, the how and because of the students so sometimes they say they they tell us that yeah because of you people the housing prices go, go, are going really high in theft and the rent allowance there if you don't share anything there are yeah. certain conditions you can see the video flashing on the screen i made a video on that two years back so based on the conditions if you satisfy then you can get a housing allowance if you are eligible to get uh... to if you are living in a shared house you cannot apply for a housing allowance only you can apply if it's a studio like mine and uh, to find uh, such studios like mine you can look into uh, kamernet uh, holland to stay and friendly housing uh, among this holland to stay friendly housing these places are uh easier to get in common net it's very much like the facebook group and it's very hard to get but these two you'll get but the price will be 750 and above so if your room is uh 22 meter square so after 20 meter square for every 1 or 2 meter square your rent increases by about 10 euros or 5 euros so but 20 and 750 is the base price okay yeah so can you give like a rough break up of uh, the expenses that you have in a month apart from uh, rent so yes. like food and maybe insurance and maybe rough other expenses like travel or how much you pay for the ovi chip card or something like that yeah uh, so for ovi chip card i pay 2 euros a month which is cheap and with that i get a discounted 40% discount pricing on uh saturday and sunday and that mm-hmm. that card is a like a travel card which you can use in train bus and everywhere is which yeah i, I, I will come to netherlands okay put it on the screen because i have detailed videos on okay. very short videos what is ob chip card how you buy it and everything also awesome. yeah, you have everything covered <laughs> great uh so uh yes so that's what i pay 2 2 euros a month Uh, my insurance is 55 euros a month which is a aon insurance which uh, the university offers i mean university asks you to take that university insurance you cannot come to netherlands without an insurance so you have to buy it uh, so that's uh, that and my groceries weekly cost around 35 euros to 40 euros i think 35 is pretty reasonable so if you take it 40 then for four weeks i mean a month it is 160 euros so uh 160 and if you're eating out or something you can consider it to 200 so 200 to 250 or uh, euros a month on like normal living and insurance 50 and uh, that one so 300 covers everything at least per month yeah so uh, your how, your expenditure per month is very much dependent on you uh, how you spend uh, it's not nothing something fixed like if you party a lot maybe twice a week it will be a lot more uh, if you party two two times uh, maybe a, a, in a month so that depends so and if you drink alcohol that's a separate cost if you smoke it it goes uh, uh, a lot so my vid, my expenditure will be from a perspective of a non vegetarian because uh, if you if you are vegetarian you spend uh, something less than uh, the normal uh, food i mean the non vegetarian food so from from a non alcoholic i mean non alcohol drinker and non smoker uh, my monthly budget is 150 euros uh, as a student uh, which actually came down to almost 100 euros uh, during covid because uh, that was including i go somewhere or buy something sometimes you pass by a market we all are human we don't have money here but still uh, and when you don't have money you smell uh, you smell the, the the fish and the chicken more uh, yeah so uh, you spend uh, that money when you're going to market sometimes it happens uh, so uh, those those kind of expenditure uh, actually got cut off from the life uh, when covid started so my monthly expen- expenditure budget was 150 euros but uh, during covid it came down to almost 100 euros uh but that was including everything like if i go somewhere or buy something or maybe go for a haircut so that was including everything uh, i think apart from that uh, insurance is almost fixed and i think this year we had 45 euros but i think this year it's uh, 55 uh, so if we take around 50 then so 150 and uh, including the insurance uh, it's 200 so that's yeah. what i was telling like 1000 a month is 
you can take that as a ballpark figure and proceed. If you're living tight, you can make it nine thousand nine hundred, but not not less than that. So if I if I roughly say four fifty euros, then I would say six uh, six fifty should be your uh, monthly budget. Yeah. So moving on to the last expenses, like, uh, did you have any specific? Do you remember any specific initial moving expense, like for example, buying a bike or a second-hand bike, because biking is very popular in Netherlands and Amsterdam is like the bike capital of the world. So. Uh, yeah so like bike or any other type of expense i know that houses are mostly for the students furnished but still like do you remember any particular any kind of range of expenses that you can expect initially when someone comes in as a new student to netherlands yeah i think it depends on how many uh, how many things he is getting from his home so like some of the things are very crucial like the pressure cooker for the south asian students and um, about to talk about the bike i i think uh, the minimum f- new bike price is uh, 129 euros i have seen uh, that's uh, in that sport shop i i've named i forgot the name yeah so decathlon decathlon yeah decathlon yeah so that's the minimum one 129 and i have the one which is a 179 euros but i got it over from one of my friends so i paid around 150 and i think more than the bike you should uh, spend uh, the money on the bike lock because even the prime minister locks his bike uh, when he yeah. uh, he goes somewhere uh, i think winter jacket is a ma- major investing uh, investing things and uh, for me like i had uh, uh, f- i had child breathing problem for so uh, for me it was very crucial uh, investment man uh, investment and we, you, if you are investing a certain amount of euro i, I would say like 100 to 110 a uh, range for a good winter jacket buy a good one because if you buy a good winter jacket it will last at least for 6 7 years i think initial investments are like some of the depends on the how the house is if it is furnished and it has uh, utensils uh, then it it won't be a problem for you if you need to buy utensils i would suggest getting them from india uh, it's yeah everything is cheap there uh, according to the price price standard here so but uh, there Maybe are like my experience was like uh, you can have some specific utensils from india and uh, some of them like some cooking utensils i bought from ikea and uh, it's uh, very cheap if you can find the right combination it's also cheap like uh, for example there was a uh, there was a combo of steel pans for cooking with cover there like a three steel uh, combo i don't remember the name uh, maybe you will see in ikea video i think i made it i have not released it so uh, that was like 10 euros for the three pans one for making tea and the other two had a cover in it so you can cook rice curries or anything and that till now i am using it's already like 5 years i paid 10 euros for that three combo so i think the in ikea yeah. also there are some options which you can find but not if you want specific utensils like as you said pressure cooker and all obviously you should bring it from your place it is better because here also you'll find pressure cooker in amazon but it's very expensive and it might not be of the I right size utensils as well if you buy at proper places it's very cheap don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video share this video help each other out and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet till next video goodbye from netherlands